Matt Ulberg is a director of the Montana Local Technical Assistance Program. He trains practitioners on how to properly install Chevron signs. In video one, Matt demonstrated how to determine the curve radius using free online tools and the analogy of a pizza box. He then showed how to use this information to determine sign spacing. Now it is time to take those calculations into the field. Prior to installation of Chevrons on a curve, a speed study should be completed to determine the operational speed that is safe for that curve. Use the Manual on Uniform Traffic Control Devices, or MUTCD, guidelines for advanced placement of warning signs table to determine the distance from the PC to the sign, or to verify an existing sign is in the correct location. In this case, the roadway has a posted speed limit of 35 miles per hour, so the sign should be placed up to 100 feet in advance of the PC, dependent on site conditions and other signing. Don't forget, you will need an advance warning sign for traffic coming from the other direction as well. Now we will lay out the chevrons. So I am occupying the center of the circle, or the center of the pizza. To my left is the PC, over my right shoulder is the PT. Those are the radius, those define the radius of the circle. Behind me is the PI, which is the intersection of the tangents. If we transition to our overhead shot, you can see that from the center of the circle to the PC defines the radius of that circle. So when we lay out the spacings, we start at the PC working toward the PT. We've allocated a quarter space between the PC and the first sign, which is 10 feet. So our first sign will be installed 10 feet from the PC. Then we lay signs out every 40 feet around the curve. So we've had four spacings with five chevron post locations, the last being this post location 10 feet from the PT at the end of the curve, which is an even spacing as the first post, which was placed 10 feet from the PC. The PT is noted at center line with paint, reference to the shoulder. Once the sign locations are marked around the curve, maintenance crews can install the signs. Install signs according to the MUTCD and on a crashworthy post. For horizontal placement of chevron signs, they should be placed 12 feet to the edge of sign from the shoulder or the edge of travel way. For vertical placement of the chevron sign, it should be five feet preferred, four foot minimum to the bottom of the chevron from that same horizontal line. The chevrons should also be installed on the posts approximately perpendicular to the travel lane for each direction of traffic. This may require the use of a butterfly bracket. Refer to the manual on uniform traffic control devices for more information. Chevrons are proven to reduce serious and fatal crashes on rural curves. Follow these simple steps to install the slow cost countermeasure and save lives in your community.